words, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Devine. All right, so as y'all can tell by the title, man, we're going to talk about Battlefield Five and why is there so much hate for Battlefield Five? I, I don't I don't understand. Well, I use that term loosely as I don't understand that phrase, but I understand why. But I kind of want to get some things off my chest. So make sure y'all sit back, chill, take a pee break, pause the video, get you some popcorn, because y'all know how I do. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention, of course, I got Battlefield Five playing in the background. But uh, let's get up into it. So when Battlefield Five, well, a little bit before Battlefield Five dropped, I remember they was like, you know, talking about it. You know, I I watched the live stream, I believe. I watched the live stream, and you know, when they was talking about what time or what setting they was gonna have it in, and what little features they was gonna have, and all kinds of stuff like that. So I was very aware as to what they were gonna do. Now, me personally, I've always I've liked Battlefield since Battlefield One or ba Battlefield Bad Company One. If y'all remember Battlefield Bad Company One, then y'all, then you were real. You know what I mean? But I've always enjoyed Battlefield for what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? Because this is coming from a person who was like such a fanboy of Call of Duty. Like Modern Warfare 2 was the best Modern, was the best Call of Duty ever. Don't add me. You know what I mean? Like I was so I was so hellbent on proving anybody wrong that if they thought that Modern Warfare 2 was wasn't the best Call of Duty. Oh, I was willing to argue with you all day long or just call you, you know, an idiot of some sort. You know what I mean? But when I played Battlefield Bad Company for the first time, it gave me a whole new outlook on first person shooters. You know what I mean? And, you know, to to the detriment of uh, Call of Duty, it isn't really too much tactical. It, it, there isn't a whole bunch of tactical um, or a tactical level, so to speak. Uh, I should have said that there isn't more of a tactical level than battlefield battlefield just feels more tactical you know what i mean it, it's just more or less on call of duty just run a gun get a couple of kills die respawn you know what i'm saying that's basically what it is in a nutshell but in battlefield it's a totally different play you know what i mean so ever since bad company battlefield bad company i've been hooked ever since you know what i mean from the sound to the to the guns to you know what i'm saying just the whole the whole shebang you know what i mean but as time goes on Battlefield has, you know, has, in my opinion, always, has always followed through, you know what I mean? So, when they dropped Battlefield 5, when they was talking about it, you know, I'm more than willing to check out the next Battlefield because, like I said, they never steered me wrong. The only Battlefield I didn't really too much cut for was Battlefield 5. I wasn't really, I mean, not Battlefield 5, Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 wasn't a big... It, I don't know. It, it wasn't. It wasn't that entertaining to me. I kind of got bored with it, so I kind of just put that down and just, you know, kind of just straight away from it. So, um, when they did Battlefield Five, you know, of course, I was like everybody else. I wanted a new. I wanted a new, uh, a new age shooter. You know what I mean? Or a modern day shooter. You know what I mean? Like kind of like another Battlefield Four, but you know, like a sequel to that or something. You know what I mean? So, um, so when they when they talked about Battlefield Five and they showed the gameplay trailer, I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was like, well, it's kind of like Battlefield One in a way. But this was a little bit different. We're supposed to be in World War II. So, okay, cool. You know what I mean? I can get with that because I played uh, Call of Duty World War II. So, I'm like, okay, let me see how this stacks up to, you know, let me see how Battlefield 5 stacks up to that. And so far, so good. You know what I mean? There's some things that they could fix, but that's for another video. But, however, playing Battlefield 5, I've enjoyed it. You know what I mean? And every minute that I play of this game, I can never understand why there's so much hate for it. You know what I mean? Now, I understand why the, why there's hate. You know what I mean? I keep using that phrase loosely because I understand, but I don't understand. You know what I mean? Because since when has it been that a game is bad because it has this in it? As far as I'm concerned, a game has always been bad because there was... Um, there was something there was something wrong with it. They didn't like the setting of it. They didn't like oh they 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 didn't like the um they, they, they didn't like the mechanics that they did with it. There was something internally in the game that they didn't like. It wasn't always about historical accuracy. It wasn't about the fact that they got a female gamer, I mean a female uh soldier on the front of the cover on the standard edition and on, on the on the deluxe edition there's a man on the front. They got a woman on there with a prosthetic arm or a, they call her a cyborg arm or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? And people are crucifying one another because um Oh, because if you if you buy Battlefield Five, you support censorship and the SJW agenda and fam listen. If I buy Battlefield Five, I buy it because that's one of my favorite games. I love Battlefield. You understand what I'm saying? I could give a shit less about what they're talking about as far as as far as oh uh, censorship and SJWs. Fuck a SJW and a censorship. I don't give a fuck about none of that. 
You understand what I'm saying? And as far as I'm concerned, anybody who bought Battlefield, they bought it because either one, they liked the Battlefield series, or two, they wanted something different from playing Call of Duty every now and again. You understand what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a, um, uh, what's, it's the best of both worlds, if I if I were to say, you know what I mean. So you know, so for the simple fact that people are crucifying one another because of that, it's just it just makes no sense to me. You know what I'm saying? If if you if we're going with that logic, then you should also feel the same way about World War Two, Call of Duty World War Two. Because if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, there's a female character in there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's a female character in there. You understand what I'm saying? People are saying, oh, there were no female soldiers back in that day. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. But there were, uh, you know, uh, but there weren't any, uh, there weren't any female soldiers with prosthetic arms. Okay. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. All right. I'm still by it. Oh, you're, you're an SJW and you, you support, you, you support the censorship. Shut the fuck up. All right. Shut up. Because who cares about a SJW agenda? Who cares about that? If you if you tell if you tell that to somebody who literally just plays Battlefield because they like Battlefield, they're gonna look at you like you have a roach crawling out of your ear or something. You understand what I'm saying? Like who cares? Who cares about that shit? Either you either you buy it because you like Battlefield or you buy it because you don't like it. Or you don't you, you don't like the setting that they put it in. Or you was or they, they let you down because you wanted a modern shooter and you wanted a modern a modern day shooter and this wasn't it. You understand what I'm saying? Not because of historical accuracy. The only game that I remember to my recollection that had historical accuracy, and then from that point on they started to drift away from that is a uh, is Mono, uh, not Mono Fair, Metal of Honor Frontline. That was the only game that I remember in my, to my recollection, that had historical accuracy. Now, I, I don't know, my memory's a little foggy. I can't really remember, I can't remember where exactly it took place in, but if you put it side by side to the movie Saving Private Ryan, then you could see the, you could see where they were going with that. You know what I'm saying? Off the first mission. You understand what I'm saying? Off the beginning of the movie and the first of the mission, you could tell where they were going with that. That's about as historically accurate as we can put it. But, you know, people weren't looking for historical accuracy. At, at least at this at least in this day and age. They weren't looking for that. It was a bonus if that if that was supposed to be so historically accurate. You understand what I'm saying? If you want to talk about historical accuracy, okay, then let's go back to Black Ops 1, Call of Duty Black Ops 1, and talk about how one of the fictional characters is talking to JFK, and in theory, supposedly, in theory, the game supposedly was the one, in the game supposedly, one of the fictional characters is the one that assassinated JFK. That's not accurate historically. You understand what I'm saying? But nobody had a problem with that. They just thought it was cool. You understand what I'm saying? Stop with all the fucking hate, man, because it's, 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 it's toxic. You understand what I'm saying? Either you like the game or you don't like it. Either you buying it or you're not buying it. Simple as that. I'm sick of all the hate because it's like you know honestly you can't please everybody and that's totally true but the same as that time man who cares about sjw who cares about censorship who gives a shit about any of that either you buying it because you like it or you buying it because you don't like it simple you know i've seen people i've seen people criticizing uh, uh um i've seen people criticizing people because because they bought it calling them idiots and stuff like that like there's this guy named eight thoughts on youtube y'all pretty much heard of him I had to unsubscribe from him because he called because he started calling people idiots and oh uh, you uh you your SJW you support them and blah 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 and you're an idiot if you buy it and I'm like come on man you know what I'm saying because once somebody starts to hate train everybody just gets on it just to get on it you know what I mean it's 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 toxic it's so toxic either you like it or you don't like it you know what I mean like stop trying to ride the hate train just to benefit your own your own for your own sake stop that stop being ignorant on purpose stop being stupid on purpose just cut it out man either you like it or you don't and anybody hop in the comment section to feel otherwise if you don't like it if you don't like it because you don't like battlefield in general cool i am all for that you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna be here to criticize and say oh you all oh, you're just a call of duty fanboy and blah 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 oh you don't like battlefield if you don't like battlefield because you don't like it okay cool I can't criticize you for that because everybody has their own everybody has their own preferences you understand what i'm saying but if you get on my comment section talking about how you support censorship and blah 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 and fuck you all right that's what we're just gonna leave it at it's simple as that you know what i mean i could care less about 
the SJW agenda. I could care less about that. Because that's what everybody keeps clinging to when they talk about Battlefield 5. That's the first thing that they say. There's three things that they say. SJW SJW agenda, censorship, female soldier with a prosthetic arm. Because of that, Battle, I mean, EA went back and they had to scrap that whole idea. And they had to scrap that and just put it back to where it was originally before. Because people kept crying about SJW censorship, historical accuracy. It's all people kept crying about. So they had to revert that shit back in order to make sure that uh, the people who were crying about it felt felt somewhat better. You know what I mean? There, there's a developer who got on a Reddit post, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong here. But he got on and called people, I think, idiots or stupid or started kind of like berating people who were talking, I guess, I guess talking down about the game. And then people was like, oh, he shouldn't talk to us like that. He's a developer. I'm, I'm triggered now. I'm like, what the fuck? Go sit down, man. Just go sit down. Go, like, go get you some business. But I get that off my chest. You know what I mean? If you like Battlefield, go get it. If you don't, don't buy it. Simple. That's it. You know what I mean? But um, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Hopefully, y'all feel the same way. If not, um, you know, we can agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully. We can respectfully agree to disagree. You know what I mean? But other than that, as far as I'm concerned, Battlefield 5 is it's a it's a pretty decent game. Once you once you get into it, you know what I mean? There's some things that they can fix. But that's for another video. However, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate all the support. We almost have 1.2K subscribers, 1,200 subscribers. I think I'm maybe like, what, 12 away, maybe 11 away. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed, man. I'm gonna go and get up out of here. Appreciate all the support. Uh, I'm still working on 2K5 for anybody that's wondering. And I'm gonna go and get up out of here, man. It's your boy Jay Devon, and I'm signing out.